Hey, welcome back to the channel. My face is here now. Yay, look at us go. Today, like the title says, we're going to be doing oil painting. I've only ever oil painted. I know that it probably says for the first time because for some reason I like potting that in the title. I have actually already oil painted once before. It was a while ago though. I was in college, I think, and I was really busy with getting my coursework done so I couldn't properly practice. But basically, long story short, someone who is somehow related to me used to paint and they got older. They didn't want it anymore. My dad told them that I paint and do art stuff because they were like talking about it. He was like, well, I don't really do it anymore. Does she do oil painting? He was like, no. But he ended up giving me a bunch of old stuff to like practice with. So I have like genuinely so much oil painting stuff I've not used since he gave it me. And I feel really bad because it's like expensive stuff and I just don't use it. And I've really wanted to get into oil painting for like years now. Love how it looks. I feel like you can do a lot more than with acrylic. I love acrylic, but it dries so quickly and it's really difficult to blend and everything. You can't get the same result basically. I've already picked the photo. I'll put it here. So my room is really like a mess. There's like loads of clothes on that chair. You know when you wear something once so you can't put it in the wash because it's a waste of like everything <laughs> and you can't put it back in your wardrobe you've worn it once i don't know i'm really sorry about that i'm gonna paint a tulip it's not pretty i think maybe tulips are my favorite flower i'm gonna paint a tulip yay i don't really know what i'm doing the only thing that i know is that you have to do an underpainting so i've done that it feels pretty dry oh not really it's like a little bit dry i kind of fell down a little rabbit hole last night on tiktok i had no idea what i was gonna film today to be honest people do really realistic oil painting i really want to get into that i think it'd be really cool to do to sell prints and stuff of it how do i show you right let me show you my okay it looks really bad this is what we have it looks terrible i get that and it's really off to the side but uh, i don't want to redo it i'm gonna put like there's like a leaf here so i'm hoping that it's gonna like balance it out a little bit i had to shut my window to film this and honestly i feel like i'm gonna pass out the fumes is ridiculous turpentine i think it is isn't it distilled turpentine is all i can smell forever probably now okay, let me show you my little my big box of tricks oh right this is what we have very good brands in here you know windsor and newton and everything they've all got stuff all over them so i have to be a bit careful reeves that's america isn't it well so it's probably windsor and newton so this is my underpainting i did this before because i thought it would need time to dry it feels pretty dry you know how people do the the, the cutesy little montages i'm gonna have to do that because it smells so bad i can't talk in here because i need to open my window i can't breathe there's also a fly in here somewhere that flew in and won't leave me alone well, they stalking me i'm gonna go now um it's been many hours probably like six seven i don't know all distracted start painting however i got further than what you probably last saw it looks really bad right now it looks like some form of organs <laughs> i'm gonna try and fix that i think it's because the background is also the umbery thing so i'm gonna add green and hope for the best that's my plan anyway i'm gonna try and do some more now and hopefully film the process or something really really low on storage i have like eight things i'm filming at the minute not good when i have no camera working with what i've got might just be filming some brush strokes or something and then you know you can see that if that's helpful very difficult to do and it's still obviously not dry because it's oil paint i don't know why i just touched that also before i went i like jumped up and tipped turpentine whatever it's called all over my bed so my room smells like a little caravan thing in breaking bad jesse because of all the chemicals it's not looking good right now but obviously it's the first layer so it will get better i'm gonna hope and pray anyway goodbye
what? First ever oil painting is officially complete. Now I know a lot of the process wasn't filmed, but honestly, it's such a stressful thing to oil paint. I didn't realize. Some of it is really calm, but when you have to do the tiny, tiny little details with tiny, tiny little paintbrush with a certain tone of color, if you don't get it right, then you have to wait for it to dry to go over it. It's part of it, very, very stressful. But I'm finally done. I can't really pick it up because the sides are done now, like painted, but I'll give you a close up in a minute. You know, I'll like go around it or something. I tried to do my signature because I might sell it, don't know. But I kind of put it, it's like there. It should really be on the edge. I will show you when I do a close up, but it didn't really work very well. It looks like a bit out of place. But realistically, it doesn't matter. My first oil painting, so I try and sell it. I think that that'd be really funny. I want to see how much I can get. I don't know if it's like do a bid or to like set it ridiculously high and just see if people will buy it because people buy original art these days, so. Maybe I'll try. Who knows? I've done it. Took me a long time. To be honest, it would be worth that money because it takes a long time to do. So I'm not like overpricing it. I'm gonna do a fair price to see what people do. If people don't buy it, I might lower it. But even then, it's a stupid idea because you're supposed to like pay a lot for the original piece, obviously. If it doesn't sell, then it doesn't matter because it's my first one, so I can just keep it. I don't really care. I'm actually painting Italy right now and I'm very excited about it, but it's taking so long it's very sad one day i'll show you when i've done it i'll show you but anyway sorry about the, the lighting is super terrible because for some reason it's dark outside even though it's six seven okay. six, six o'clock but last night it was bright until half nine in the uk half night like what but today it's so cloudy we're on a walk with my friend she was wearing shorts because she, she was smart but i didn't read the weather and i just looked outside it looks cloudy it's 19 degrees I was sweating bollocks but Oh well, what can you do? I'll show you the thing you want. I'll probably put some pictures in as well for my listing, whatever. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And rainy days UK and Etsy, if you want it. If it's not already sold, I don't think it will have because it's kind of, I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for yet. It depends how my TikToks do with it. If they do okay, then maybe it'll be sold. I don't know. Oil painting of Tulip, first one, done. Probably not the last. I'm actually really enjoying it, but my room just smells like turpentine all the time. But I actually do love it now. I don't know what happened, but incredible smell and it smells awesome so i'm good now goodbye actually i'm gonna be back in a sec just to show you right okay okay Ooh, wow brush strokes so delicious this is such a fun painting cute my room's a mess please ignore it yes that is cards against humanity anyway what